That's about 100 air conditioners all chopped up and recycled Freon. And a mountain of steel bodies from a week's worth of work. Well, it seems like a never-ending battle. I still have a big room full of several hundred air conditioners. Massive quantity down there. I guess if I scrapped that block, I'd be worth 10,000 bucks. And hundreds and hundreds more all over the place. But the good news is I'm a little bit closer to my Mercedes now that hasn't been out, you know, for a long time, since fall of 2001. And there's a picture of what we'll be seeing in a moment. Of course, you can't see the whole thing. It's still kind of buried. So, let's walk this way. Well, there's still 200 air conditioners in this room, but I've made a pathway. Got some lighting set up. This is going to be the official unveiling. And starting video if it starts. I have to see if I can get a battery in there. It goes right under the fender there, and that's hard to get in when you can't get access to the car. Not much to look at at the moment. So... Got my light set up, tripod and a camera. Let's see what's going to happen. Alright, hope no mice chewed the shit out of this thing. Oh, it's dusty. Get a bit of a view of the front end. Emblem. This car has seven coats of hand rub red lacquer. This car has seven coats of hand rub red lacquer and three coats of clear. Yeah. And authentic suicide doors. Oh, good. No mouse damage on the seats. Keys are still in it. Convertible tops down there. Can't even see the wheels. Just barely. So, that's what she looks like. No rust because I made it out of fiberglass and aluminum. Volkswagen door latches, authentic antique handles, Volkswagen cranking mechanism, chopped down 1984 Chrysler LeBaron seats, with no headrest, and retro blast, brass plated semi authentic looking, you know, gauge package. Ford steering column, split window, and supercharger pipes, yet it's not supercharged. So let's check if there's any mouse nests on the engine. <clears throat> Volkswagen door latches. <clears throat> Oops. Well, has a 1968 Mustang 289, factory rated I think at about 215 horsepower. Morasso rocker covers, full headers, full dual exhaust, aluminum hood. Is I'm just going to take the air cleaner screw off, dump a bit of gas in the carb, and nothing else. This vehicle doesn't leak, so I'm sure it's got oil and tranny fluid in it. It's only a two barrel. Gives you a little bit more torque on the bottom end. So 
So, so there's my starting tools. An Energizer battery that someone put in one of my cars that came from Walmart. Some fortified beer, which is really gasoline. And since I'm inside a building, in case anything goes wrong, a fire extinguisher. So let's dump a little beer in. No, actually we'll put the battery in first, that's the hard part. <laughs> 